So guys, this is Maya and Maya is a high fidelity mannequin for doing all kinds of ultrasonography. So if I want to do a TTE, I would do a TTE on Maya just like I would do on any normal person. So this is a parasternal view of the heart that I am getting right now, but I could easily do Maya's lungs and not only that I could do a subcoastal view for Maya okay we'll be opening up shortly there you go that's the IVC and I can see the variation of that IVC with respiration I can do the flank on Maya and you will see the kidney and the liver and the gallbladder and everything else that you actually see on a normal person. So the best thing about Maya is not only can I change her heart rate and respiratory rate, but I can choose, for example, to make her have a cardiac tamponade. I could choose to make her have a moderate effusion, for example, on the left right side, and let's do a severe pneumothorax on the left. I can make her have a gallbladder stone, okay, so that's your gallstone, go the left kidney, let's make her have a kidney stone and let's make Maya have a baby and let's say the baby is 11 weeks, okay, and that's it, now Maya has all these pathologies, so now I start scanning and there is your tamponade and I even forgot what I did on which side but you have a pleural effusion right there on her right side and on the left side I should be seeing a renal calculus and there it is right there. I go down to the pelvic area and as I am scanning the pelvic area there you go, that's her baby. Now Maya will show everything that you should be seeing with a tamponade. So here's a subcoastal view, right there. That's a tamponade, right ventricular collapsing. And then when I do the IVC, you would see that it is, it's not mobile and it is very dilated. Pneumothorax, because this is a trauma patient that I've made, there is no lung sliding. And when I go ahead and do the M mode, I will see that Maya has a stratosphere sign on the left side confirming pneumothorax. Now the best thing about Maya is that I've got a TEE probe. And when I use the TEE probe on her, so here I go with my TEE probe and here I start seeing the aortic arch and before that the three blood vessels and as I go down I see the root of the pulmonary valve and the two pulmonary arteries and then I go down and I see the aortic valve and then what I am looking at is the mid esophageal four chamber view and so on and so forth. Now I could do anything like for example if I do a power wave Doppler I can do my VTI, I can do my color, color Doppler I can do anything on her as I would do with the normal uh, TEE not only that it can actually let you do all the measurements and everything that you would do normally in a patient like that